Hey guys, we have a very special episode for you today. Dragonhawk has sent me the Mast Racer. The Mast Racer is a special wireless tattoo pen because it has the battery in the grip. Yes, in the grip, which makes it shorter and puts the weight more at the tip. It's also a four millimeter stroke. Let's check it out right here on the Floaty channel. Don't forget everything you see in this episode will be in a link in the description below. And we'd really appreciate it if you support our channel by giving us a like. Thank you. Let's check it out. All right, let's open up the Mast Racer. Mast. Activate your tattoo inspiration. Thank you, Dragon Hawk, for sending this. Dragonhawk is a well-known name. We're super excited to try this out. All right, cool. There it is. Mast. As you can see, it is a nice thick machine as um, all of the mast uh, I've tried in the past have been pretty much this size. So it's uh, very similar if you're happy with that size diameter. I will say right now they live up to that same standard with this one. Accessories, two cords, USB-Cs, standard accessory bag, and have this battery and here it is the mast racer as you can see it's very short the diameter is very similar to other mast uh, pens in the past so that is staying uh, a nice repeating element with their product there uh, I'm loving the red on here and it's, it's really nice and comfortable. It's not too long. Um, part of some of my concern with the mass products in the past has been um, just how long they are. So I'm really excited that they made one this short. So let's see how it works in there. We have two batteries. Um, I've attached one to the charger here. This is a charging base, so you're going to get that uh, as a separate piece. Attach a cord, USB C, and there it is the charger base at the bottom. And you're just going to pull that off. All right, so a little tugging, not a big deal, it's fine. Um, I was a little hesitant my first time, but yep, you just pull it off. There's a little magnetic part inside so that is what's giving the resistance when you put this back on you want to make sure to align it uh, there is some writing you'll see on the side of the battery portion here um, just says when installing you're going to align this notch opening here with this part here All right, so there it is, it's aligned. There's a little resistance. So then you're gonna have to push those two sides together. And that is how you connect to the charger. Very similar when attaching the battery to the machine. So let's take a look at that. I'll just put this one to the side. I actually have the battery is in the machine. They give you two batteries. so. Here's the second one. Let's take a look. Pretty fun taking this thing apart. And there you'll see that writing again. So that's the same part of the battery there. Um, so it's the same thing. We're just gonna pull it apart. You're gonna see the drive arm now on the inside. That's how everything goes together. That's the magic of this piece. Um, of this machine is that there's a hole here where the drive arm will connect and the battery works as a cylinder around it. It saves that extra space that you would have uh, coming off the top of it. So yeah, very clever. 
I see. I see what you're doing there. I see what you did. Yeah. Putting this thing back together, uh, it's just a little sketchy in the middle. You just want to make sure to wind that up before you do that. Obviously, ah, if you do that, you're going to hurt the drive arm. So you want to pay attention a little bit when you're putting this thing back together. Same thing here, finding the writing, and we're going to line it with that doohickey right there. At the same time, we're going to make sure the drive arm neatly fits in the center. And there you go. All back together. Let's see. Did it work? There you go. So it's turning on. That's how we know we put it back together right. Okay, let's take a quick peek at the screen. There it is. You can see it has very large writing, which is nice. You want to be able to read what voltage you're at and the battery is very clear as well. So right now we're at 8 volts. Let's just check out how the voltage works. Looks like it goes up and down in 0.1 increments, which I do like. I like having that incremental control of my voltage. So I think with a little bit of grip tape and a needle, we'll get a better idea of what this sounds like. Let's put a needle on. All right, I like the way this mast racer looks with my floaty grip. Mm. All right, we're gonna try on this three round liner. This is a police cartridge from CNC. 12 gauge standard needle. Now the needle depth situation. Yeah, okay. So needle depth is a little different. It's on the back because this portion comes off. All right, here we go. 7.5 volts. We just have a little bit of silicone here today for you. Some old project. I love the way this feels. All the weight seems to be at the tip. There's so much control on this thing. Already I feel like I have a really good grip on this thing. It's super comfortable. Let me just take a look here. See how it's getting in real quick. So we're getting in really well at 7.5 volts on the silicone. Go down just a bit. I'm at seven volts now. Just maybe slow down just a bit. Lines in there. Not doing anything crazy, just a little tracing. Still getting in just fine at seven volts. Beautiful. So I think that four millimeter stroke is uh, giving this machine that little extra punch for some good solid lining. All right, so Nice, beautiful, crisp black line here. Very nice control. I'm gonna keep playing around at 7.5 volts. There's just a plain line at 7.5 volts. I definitely feel like there's good control. It's a well-saturated line. I was easily able to get a one-pass line by just slowing my hand speed down slightly like I do with any machine uh, when I'm lining. So beautiful, very happy with that.
Okay, let's take a look at the dot patterns from the whip shape. If you look close at the lines, you'll see nice distance that makes sense between each point as we whip out, meaning that there's good patterning in this system. The four millimeter stroke, I think, would make the dots more precise as well. Um, you can see that a little bit up here in this cross hatching. The definite points of the dots look really good. So pepper shading, uh, stipple shading, dot work, whatever you want to call it, this machine can do it all. Okay, so obviously the Mast Racer can handle through round liner. Um, it's doing beautiful lines and stipple shading. Let's try it out uh, with an 11 round liner, something a little bigger. Uh, of course, we want to up the voltage just a bit as well to a 9 volts. All right, I got this 11 round liner on. We're at 7 volts going up. You can start at 8.5, it actually feels pretty strong. And then we can go up from there if we need to. Woohoo, yep, get in there, no problem. 8.5 volts. Nice saturated line here with the 11 round liner. Could probably turn it up just a bit to get a little more hand speed out of it. And beautiful just was able to speed up my hand just turn up the voltage slightly and still getting a nice crisp black line with the 11 round liner so beautiful obviously that four millimeter stroke is showing in the mast racer Okay, we got an eight round shader on now. Yeah, getting in there really well, really saturated. I could probably even come down a bit, save my client's skin. As long as it's getting in, I don't need it that high. Of course. This is silicone now, so. All right, still able to get that round shader in, just slowing the hand speed at 6.8 volts. These really cool round shader lines here and obviously getting the heart super black, no problem. Let's try a little more lining. We're gonna turn this up just a bit. Let's see how fast we can go with this round shader. Let's go up to 8.5. Okay, lovely. So if you like to pull fast lines, are you really into round shaders for lining this machine can do that as well just wanted to do one more line for you here with the round shader just to show you how beautifully saturated that is oh beautiful very nice 10 gauge 19 curve mag Let's try this police needle out on the mask racer. All right, nice fit. Okay, I'm at seven volts on this machine. Let's take a look. We're at 7.2 volts. Let's try it out on the silicone. All right, let's try it out. Okay, 
Seven bolts. Okay, so yes, the Mast Racer is capable of a soft shade as well as lining. It does have a little bit of a harder hit, so uh, you want to just be conscious of that when working. Um, work at slightly lower voltages so that you don't do excessive damage to the skin. I'm just going to try a little bit more on the side here. I'm going to turn it up to... 7.5 volts. So as you can see, some really nice smooth shading with the mag. We turn up the voltage just a little bit and we've got these really crisp lines. You can see the control with the mag on its side, this direction. You can see the individual needle lines there and as we see going in they're very crisp and they don't cross it's pretty impressive and very dark as well that's the one thing i'm noticing about this machine is the hits definitely going to get the ink in there if you're going for a smoother shade you might turn down your voltage a little bit and just be conscious of that but otherwise this machine seems to do everything that it needs to from lining to shading a soft shade a dark shade we can try some black now That's at 6.5. I actually might want to go up a little bit to 6.8. It's getting in a little better there. You don't want to have to do too many passes to get it black. Kind of overwork the skin. We're using a 10 gauge curved mag, not ideal for black, but you can see this is getting pretty darn black, even with the 10 gauge here. Um, probably could get it a little darker. Let's just go up to that seven volts. Beautiful. So very nice and black and saturated. This machine seems to be able to do everything from black packing to shading. It is shading beautifully here on the rows. You can see a soft shade, even though it's a four millimeter stroke machine. I was able to bring it down in voltage slightly and get a really smooth shade. I see some nice patterning in the shading as well. From that stroke length being a little bit longer, I think it does help get that crisp patterning in the lines, uh, in the dot work and in the shading. Dragonhawk has obviously put a lot of time and effort into this machine. I'm impressed that even though it is so much shorter than its prior design, it works even more efficiently. I think part of that is because of the balance of the design and the weight is perfect. Not too heavy, not too light. I'm loving this mass racer. As you can see, it's only the length of my fingers here. It's super compact. I've never quite used a machine just like this. You guys have to try it out. So thanks Dragonhawk for sending me such a cool machine. The Masked Racer can be found at dragonhawkofficial.com. But don't forget to get a 10% discount code. You have to use our link in the description below. I can't wait to use the Masked Racer in my shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget if you want to support our channel, like and subscribe for more in the future. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.